All right, it's not my habit to make videos on outboard motors. Uh, this is a 3D printing channel, but you know, I've been struggling with this problem for the last couple of days, and I thought I'd make a video on it. Um, the problem I'm having with my, it's a uh, Mercury uh, EFI four stroke, 90 horsepower. And from one day to the next, what was happening is uh, it, would, it runs fine, it starts fine, it idles fine. Once it gets up to 3000 RPM, it runs fine. But at 3000 RPM, it basically starts shaking heavily um, and I get six beeps. Um, if you go online on all the forums, you find a lot of people with the same symptoms and um, unfortunately not a lot of good answers out there. Uh, I did find one forum where a person mentioned the uh, neutral safety switch that is uh, broken. Um, now, initially, I thought that we were talking about the, the safety switch that actually sits in the remote controller here. Um, but it actually turns out that there is one in the motor itself. Um, and so it's basically just a simple breaker switch. Uh, when it's in neutral, it's a closed uh, loop. Um, and the problem that I'm having is that uh, when uh, it goes into gear, uh, it remains in a closed loop. And so the motor thinks that it's in neutral uh, state. And so it basically starts um, limiting um, the revs at 3000 RPM. Um, so a very easy way to test this. Um, you got to be careful though, because you should not be starting your engine uh, without safety or, you know, if it's not a neutral, but um, of course, of all the places, this neutral switch is buried in the bottom. Uh, let's see if I can even see it. Um, um, let's see. Um, yeah, I can't even see it from, from here. Oh, it's way back there. There where those two little screws are. That's actually where the neutral safety switch sits uh, and it runs up on a wire and it comes um, up to this connector over here uh, which is connected to this one here. So an easy way for me to test this problem was simply, you know, I started the engine, took it out on the lake uh, and while it was running I disconnected the neutral safety switch and voila when I, um, you know, gave gas it went beyond 3000 rpm so it's definitely um, the uh, safety neutral switch uh, or TPS switch I think is what they uh, TPS sensor maybe is what they call it too um, so this is an easy way to test this um, unfortunately I tested this after I replaced my spark plugs for 50 bucks but anyway so if you get a similar issue uh, this is an easy way to test um, Make sure, you, I, I would personally start it uh, with the thing connected so you're sure to be starting your engine while it is in neutral. Uh, but once it is started, you can disconnect it because it basically just opens the loop and it will think it's no longer in neutral. Uh, and that solved the problem for me. So hopefully uh, this will save somebody else a lot of trouble. Uh, and now the rest of my videos will be going back to 3D printing. Um, thank you.